frames and we look at the access argument. We've seen that we can call pandas concatenated and we can pass our data frame objects that we want to concatenate and last time we saw that we can pass the keys argument and in this lecture we'll see the axis argument okay so let's create a new data frame and then we'll save that in a variable called data frame 5 so pd dot data frame and we'll create our new data frame by passing a dictionary key and value combo as we did before let's say b and then values will pass a list containing let's say b2 b3 b5 and b6 let's pass another key and value combo let's say d and then for value we'll pass d2 d3 d5 and d6 let's add one more key and value combo let's say f will be our key and then for our value we'll pass a list containing f2 f3 f5 and f6 so let's also pass an index and for index we'll pass 2 3 5 and 6 so if i call my data frame 5 object i get we have three columns b d and f access 2 3 5 and 6 let's call our first data frame object so we have abcd 0 1 2 3 let's try to concatenate data frame 1 and 5 let's say pd dot concat i'll pass data frame 1 and data frame 2 so this is the same as saving these two data frames in a list object and then passing the list object here instead of doing that we can simply pass this data frames as one list containing those data frames okay let's run this data frame one and five the one we just created data frame five let's run that so here we have 0 1 2 3 from our first data frame then 2 3 5 and 6 from our second data frame so that's the default concatenation without passing any access how about if we pass an access let's say i pass an axis and I set it to be equal to 1 so this means concatenated along the axis 1 along y axis so in this case we'll get a different result let's run it so here we have a b c d from our data frame 1 a b c d then b d and f from our second data frame the one we just created so we are concatenating concatenating it along axis is equal to one 
along the y-axis right so any missing values will have no value since our first data frame doesn't have any of these values and similarly our second data frame does not have 0 1 and 2 index and our first data frame doesn't have values for index 5 and 6 by default any concatenation that we do is by default axis is equal to zero. So this is the same as what we got. This is the same as saying not passing any axis at all. So that's the default value. If I run this also, I'll get the same result. Good. Next, let's look at how we can use the join access parameter or argument okay we'll see how we can use this join access and join parameter first let's see join this join argument and i'll show you how we can use the join access parameter let's look at an example so pd dot concat Let's say we want to concatenate our first data frame. Let's look at another example. Let's consider our second data frame. Let's say data frame two, and then the data frame that we just created, data frame five. Okay, let's run that. We have A, B, C, D, and F in our indexes. So first data frame, which is data frame two and second data frame, which is data frame five. And let's pass the axis parameter, axis argument, axis is equal to one. We just saw that it will concatenate it along axis is equal to one. Next, let's use the join argument and let's say it to be equal to inner. What do you think I'll get in this case? Okay, to help us the result, let's call our two de data frames separately. So data frame two and then data frame five. So inner means it will join the two data frames Think of it as an intersection. So wherever their indexes intersect, it will join them by using those. It will join the two data frames by using those indexes that are common to that are common in both of the data frames. In our example, data frame two has indexes for five, six, and seven, and data frame five has indexes two, three, five, and six. So they intersect at indexes five and six. So the result will have two rows which will which are indexes five and six so let's run it and show you so here our result has only two indexes five and six similarly let me copy this and let's see the result on data frame one and five if we call data frame one we have indexes zero one two and three and data frame two we have indexes four five six and seven so what do you think will be the result the result of this concatenation Yeah, we don't have any indexes that intersect, right? So if we run the pd.concat 
method on our and then pass the join argument as inner on data frames or we saw one in two and run this we don't get any result since they don't have any intersecting indexes okay let's see the last data frame that we created data frame five so here we have indexes two three five and six and if we concatenate data frame one and five and pass the join argument that will be concatenated along indexes two and three since those two indexes are common let's quickly look that and run this we get that next let's quickly look at the join access argument so similarly pd that let me copy and paste it so we have access is equal to one and then instead of join we'll pass the join access argument and let's set this to be equal to our data frame five that index what do you think will happen so this will concatenate our two data frames data frame one and five by using data frame five data frame fives index so the resulting concatenated data frame will have four rows with indexes two three five and six let me run it and show you here we got an error it says unexpected keyword argument join access oh this should be join access with an e let's run it again okay so we have indexes two three five and six so that's how we can do concatenation along bypassing the join access argument similarly we can concatenate it by passing this join access argument and let's say that to be equal to data frame one that index in this case it will conc the concatenated result will be will contain the indexes 0 1 2 and 3 so if we run this we get 0 1 2 and 3 so this part is from our first data frame that's why all of the values are present whereas this part is missing because our data frame 5 object does not have indexes 0 and 1 similarly here we are concatenating it by passing this join access argument and then setting it to be equal to data frame fives index so this is this part is from the data frame five object so all the values are present whereas our data frame one object does not have indexes five and six so we see not a number or missing value here okay to summarize we saw how we can pass the access argument and then by setting it to be equal to one we can concatenate data frames along the y-axis and by default we saw that this axis is zero and then we saw how to use the join argument and finally we said join to be equal to inner and then finally we saw how to use the join access argument thank you everyone and i'll see you at the next lecture hello everyone and welcome back in this lecture, we look at concatenation using the append method.